welcome to my playhouse and today um, I would like to show you how I clean out the builder in my heating system um, as I've shown in my other videos it's getting cold outside it's not that cold yet we can actually go see how cold it is and it's in here kitty is sleeping on my chair how rude See the temperature inside is 21 degrees and outside it's 3.1 degrees Celsius. And we'll just change that to Fahrenheit and the indoor temperature is 69.8 Fahrenheit and outside it's 37.6. I'll change that back, otherwise I will be confused. Next time oh that was not it. That's it. Okay. And let's go see. Here is the heat pump or the display for it. And right now it's not running. It's it says the temperature is 39.8 degrees Celsius. The pump is running and I can't remember what that little sign is, but the compressor is not running and the unit is out here. I, I really need to go insulate the, the pipes better. I even got some spare parts for that. Uh, funny enough, it's just not that comfortable being outside in the cold. But in the basement, going down. In here is the stove and that's burning well so right now the the heat pump should be off and this is all the piping that goes out into the heat pump and there's a there's a pump that pumps the water away from the heat pump it's it's all kind of complicated but the water going out to the heat pump goes through this line which is really uh, there's a leak somewhere <laughs> probably right about there there's a little leak but it's so little that I haven't really found the time to do anything about it but it looks kind of ugly but yeah uh, this is not the place in the house to to invite guests anyway uh, but I have a filter here this part that's a dirt filter um, for the water that goes out into the pipe. Large pieces of metal and stuff like that won't go into the heat pump and damage that. So there's a rough filter in there. And that uh, tends to cock up. So what I do, I have this little thing laying around and I have very conveniently put a bell on this side and a bell on that side and that's not no co coincident because um, when I have to clean up the filler it's very nice to be able to close the water off on both sides otherwise it will just pour out of there. So that is what I'm gonna do. I'll just put up the camera so that you can see. Well and every time I bring a camera down to the basement and try to do something uh, with film and recording of sound and stuff like that my pump that uh, empties out the my well water it just happens to turn on I'm gonna shut off the well here both of them and I will take off this cap and see if it's it's dirty but see how dirty it is and there is a bit of water coming up and it doesn't feel very dirty it's, this is this is nothing it's not very dirty but I'm gonna go uh, up to the sink and get rid of this small amount now that I have it out and through the magic of cutting and editing, uh, the filter is more or less clean. There is some stains on it, but 
not a big problem. I'm gonna put it back on the lip of this thing. And there's a casket to, to seal it up. And we're gonna put it back on. Like that. And every time I do this, I lose a little amount of water on this, in the system. So I try not to do this too often. Not that that amount of water is important, but... Then I, I turn it on slowly. You can see up here, there's another thing. That's an air valve. That's to prevent air to go into the compressor system. And that has to open up. You can hear it hissing. That's the air coming out of the system. Now that I've slightly turned the water back on. I'll turn it on all the way now. And a bit of more air came up. So yeah, that's clean. I'm just gonna let the water here dry off by, on its own, no problem. And the system should be good. Um, the amount of dirt was surprisingly small. Last weekend I cleaned up this filter two times and it was completely dirty. I don't know what I did but something must have changed. Let's just go see the pump. This is the pump and it's it's pumping out the water. Let's just take a stick. It's the, water. the water is not very far down. The water, the water level changes in the, in the winter. I I get more water in the in the in the well in winter time. So I have this blue pipe that takes it out into the uh, drainage system. This should be very clean water. It's actually spring water. There's a spring somewhere down under the well, so the water comes from there, and I pump it out to the drainage system, and that water is not being um, filtered or cleaned in any way. It just goes out into the ocean. I know I'm not the only one that has this problem, but when I go out shopping, especially home improvement centers, I tend to find things that I'm sure that I need. I need this and it would be so much better if I just buy this and put it on there and there and there and so on. Um, and like exactly that way I was thinking about when I found these. Um, 90 degrees things. Um, I'm I can't remember the price, but the, they weren't that cheap. And I was thinking about the corners out here. Oh, they're out of frame. Uh, these corners, and putting these on instead, and the the piping and stuff like that should be exactly right. So that that would be really good for that. I thought. Genius. Um, they have been laying around for. The, uh, the better part of a year or so. But today I thought I had them laying around. Let's go out there and install them. So I found I have two of them. And, uh, I really needed four to put on all the corners, but they were quite expensive. So I thought I'll buy two and see if they fit and go and buy some next week, which I never came to. I don't know if they have them anymore, but well, so far so good. I've got a little knife to 
to cut changes and open them up. I see they're, they're opening in the inside. That's cool. That's where I want, wanted that. And I'm gonna gaffer them back on. So I'm gonna climb out the window and try to fix this. So we are outside and has a lot better view than we had through the window. And that corner down there is not very good. And especially that one down there is not very good. Insulated. I don't I can't remember if it's because it's hard to to get anything down there. I'll have to open it a bit up and see what it looks like. Took off this cover and just put this down to see how it would look. And it seems the hole is definitely big enough. Seems very big. And there's not a lot there's not a lot of room down here. And it's, it's a problem. We'll focus on that. These are very tightly together. So I'm not gonna be able to get this in there in any way. Oh, it's too close. I'm not gonna be able to get it past those. That's bad. So I'm not gonna put, be able to put it on there. Uh, which is a shame because this definitely needs some better insulation than this. Ah. But I'll find somewhere else to put this. I'm gonna open this up and see how that elbow works. much tape I thought it was well no matter no worries we have another one there's not a lot of that on that either but and I'm gonna put I think I'm gonna put the other one down here get this one off Pipes are nice and hot. <clears throat> so I'm I'm trimming trim, trimming the old pieces to to fit them back in. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be a little bit better than what it was. So that's gonna be okay. Be an improvement. That's always good. Every little improvement helps on a cold winter day. It's much better to squeeze it a little bit than to have a gap.
found out that this tape is and we need to use this because it's getting too old. It's all weird and stuff. Small improvements. That's pieces of pipe that will not be that cold. So I will be saving a little bit, a little bit on my electric bill heating the house. And that's always cool. Yeah, that's it from me and Kitty for this time. I cleaned the filter and I improved the insulation on the pipes. And then me and Kitty can be indoors system when it's cold outside. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day.